This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Good morning, or should I say good afternoon? You know, I tend to say that very often. It's almost four now. It's unbelievable how late we start today because, well, actually, we woke up at nine and then we went to have some breakfast. Well, there are bubbles. <laughs> there was a bubble machine there. <laughs> uh, and then after breakfast, uh, actually a very nice breakfast over here. Then we went back to sleep because we were so tired. And also the baby, uh, Isabel was also tired. So, um, and now we are on our way out. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to Central Festival. Look at the bubble, oh wow. I wonder if Isabel is aware of bubbles yet. Maybe not. Oh, we have nice weather in uh, Chiang Mai today. It's always nice weather here. Well, almost always this time of the year. So mostly just sunny days, no wind almost, no rain. So yeah, and right now, well, 30 degrees Celsius, all right. So use the car's navigation because it actually works great over here. We have in here, and we also have here, yeah, Google for the wind. So uh, yeah, now we'll just drive over to uh, Central Festival. Actually, I like this location. This uh, hotel wintry because it's uh, fairly quick to enter and you turn at the motorway. One thing I cannot accept is that we found uh, a cockroach in the room. So that means this one, this hotel will not pass. We will not come back here. Well, unless the ladies disagree with me. Well, back at Central Festival. <laughs> it's like a standard place we have to come when we do take these trips. But okay, so um, we chose to eat at this Uishi ramen. Oh yeah, oh, you know, I, I haven't had ramen in uh, Chiang Mai. So, yeah, yeah, let's get some of these uh, noodles. All right, the food is here. Ramen and Uishi. Yeah, but uh, the ladies are not here. They went to the restroom and uh, yeah, I guess I have to wait for them. I have to stare at the food here. Mm. Try the noodles. Mm. It's good, but not the best that drive. The best was Ichiran in Japan. Okay, we are now on the second part of the shopping trip. And this is usually what happens is that Isabel gets a bit grumpy. So then uh, Maya needs to carry her. And look, they wear the same, the same color. <laughs> matching colors <laughs> and then usually what happens is that the the, the cyber stroller becomes a uh, um, uh, shopping cart <laughs> yeah all right um let me see i think wifey wants to uh, uh color her hair and that's going to take two hours and then i can get some work done i think it's over here somewhere yeah they, i think this is the one okay so the the hair shop um we uh, not there. Not. You book, don't book there. Oh, I'll walk in, okay. Well, the hair shop, uh, on, in two days we'll come back here. It's going to take three hours to color her hair. Just see that. Blonde? She wants to be blonde. Okay, uh, natural. No! <laughs> natural. <laughs> natural. <laughs> green. Green. She wants to be green. Oh, okay, no, no bleaching. Yeah, yeah. So it will take three hours. I don't know what's up with this uh, g g girl stuff, but okay. Anyway, yeah. So now uh, we need to uh, get some dessert, <laughs> and then Maya is looking at some uh, uh, makeup stuff. Okay, now the ladies are shopping at H uh, and M, and then uh, I just want to sit here and chill a bit. So you see. I have uh, edited the video. This is uh, Volvo XC40 Bangkok Challenge. I edited it in the hotel room this morning, or rather afternoon. And now I'm rendering in it both, both languages. It's going to take a little while. So I'm also charging my phone. You see, I can work anywhere. <laughs> yeah, at least it depends what I'm doing, of course. And then Isabel is asleep. Yes, <laughs> peacefully asleep. And uh, I guess we just have to wait for the ladies to finish at uh, H&M. Okay, here we get some uh, dessert. This is uh, at After You. Yeah, that's the, the shop After You. So I have some toast. Yeah, more toast and some bingsu. And then here we have 
ginger, how is this, ginger and brown sugar. We have uh, ginger candy and then pickled ginger. Oh yeah, that for me, all this ginger. Okay, we have to do a pit stop at the room here because uh, uh, wifey needed to uh, pump her breasts. <laughs> Actually very important because she got the infection twice already. So very important to empty out the breasts and she didn't bring the breast pump. Uh, maybe in the future we have to always bring breast pump. Yeah, but anyway, so um, you know, uh, this morning we found a cockroach here. I, I kill it and then wifey saw another cockroach. These guys are freaking nasty. And this one is not that big. I've seen bigger cockroaches than this. So I, I took a picture of this and we're going to ask the reception. This is not acceptable uh, for a fi five, well, so-called five-star hotel. There should not be cockroaches here. At uh, Kumpukam, which is okay, kind of old uh, hotel. We've been there many, many, many nights. I think over 20 nights in Kumpukam. That was only four-star, but we have never seen cockroach there. And then, for example, five star, like um, uh, Meridian, also, of course, no cockroach there. So in my opinion, uh, even if it's just two star or one star, there should not be a cockroach in the, in the house. It should be clean and cockroaches, they tend to seek for dirty places. Actually, yesterday when we checked in here, uh, the, the, the floor felt a little bit uh, dirty, so I had to actually wipe it myself the floor to make it slightly better but still feels a little bit dirty here so yeah let's i'm going to ask the reception what they're going to do with this huh <laughs> can we get another room at least or something uh i don't know if it helps but let's see what they say well so i asked the receptionist i show her the picture of uh, uh this and then um uh her response was okay uh she will uh, send uh, a housemaid to clean up this. And I said, well, I mean, we can clear this up, but there's two, twice now, two occurrences, and we don't know if there's any more in there, right? So I said that this is not okay. I mean, uh, cockroaches, they like dirty places. I had to clean, I told her I had to clean the floor because of what I said. So I asked her, can we change room? At least if we change room, it could be random whether uh, there would be roaches there or not, right? So they, they said, yes, okay, they can change room. So we'll do that, but uh, I think the ladies, they want to go to night basana. I was like, uh, I mean, personally for me, I would take care of this ASAP. Uh, now it's uh, nine and the ladies want to go to uh, night basana. There's two hours left before they close. So, well, okay, whatever. So we're gonna move room and move. You have to move the whole stuff there tonight uh, in two hours, roughly. All right, let's go then. Okay, this time we are at uh, Night Bazaar. So last time we came here was uh, Sunday and they actually closed most of it. But today it's here. Yeah, there's no walking street here. So yeah, the ladies, they want to go shopping. And then as for me, I have to do the, the daddy uh, duty, which is to carry Isabelle. This is my view most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I guess uh, we'll go shopping for a bit. Okay, I think we are hungry now, but uh, the problem is that we have Isabel with us and this food area is very noisy. So we ate here uh, last time, it was nice, but today there was some kind of rock fan. Sounds like uh, ACDC, so we can't eat here unfortunately, we have to find another location. Okay, we're back at the uh, room. Uh, now we're going to pack everything. Uh, ASAP and then move room. <laughs> okay, so there's a whole she ton of stuff we need to pack. And then wifey said that, uh, first he said that there was a roach here, but it's not a roach. I mean, I am not modern. No. It's not a roach, it's a... Oh, okay. Oh, let me know. Okay. It's, uh, it's, um, it's just an ant. Yeah. Oh, no, I can zoom in here as you can see. Come on, come on, focus. What's a big ass ant, man? I wonder where, how they get in here. Uh, is it via 
Is it via this one? Or is it this thing here? Maybe it's like some kind of shaft. It's a big mystery where they come from, really. But whatever, we're out of here. Hopefully the new room is better. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay, just as I was uh, packing the mini bar, then I just saw yet another roach. Man, these things are nasty. You know, they are like from another, they could, you know, these roaches, they could probably survive in marsh. That's how uh, robust they are, but. <sighs> you see, it's, it's, we have baby stuff here. It's supposed to be, it should be clean here. And the roaches are dirty. Dead. D E D. Right, we have moved to the new room. And uh, yeah. Uh, what, what should I say? At least we don't have any roaches here, but um, the floor is dirty. I can show you soon. I, I, I just wet this, uh, this uh, cloth here and I'm going to wipe the floor now. And then the air conditioning smells like urine. Uh, yeah, I smell air, air conditioning like this before. I think it needs servicing. <sighs> yeah, this is the first and last time we stay here at Wintry. That's for sure. Um, I mean, if, okay, I can live with this two more nights, actually. Three more nights. Shit, we have four nights here. <sighs> if, it's, um, if it's too bad, then I actually consider just canceling. Well, it's non-refundable. That's the problem. But okay, whatever, um, we just have to live with this.